My name is Jauk. I'm the uh, CEO of Backlash. Yeah. Okay, Jauk. Um, Cyber 2016. What is special about that? And uh, what are you showcasing today at Cyber? Uh, what is special about it? To start with that. Um, is that we get uh, Cyrus, I think traditionally is very much about payments and in the conversation so far today next to payments we hear more interest in digital mm -hmm. so it looks like digital is getting more prominent next to payments mm -hmm. so what are you showcasing at Cyrus this year? Uh, basically our core value proposition which is omnichannel digital banking mm -hmm. uh, what you see with most uh, small medium business and corporate banks mm -hmm. they have a lot of systems in place mm -hmm. uh, but these systems are very siloed and their user interface towards uh, the end customer. Uh, let it be a CFO, a treasurer, a payment clerk. Typically nowadays it's still very outdated. Mm -hmm. If you compare it with retail banking, it's, it's very outdated. How do you know that omnichannel digital banking is actually now so in demand? Have you done research into that? We've done research uh, last year together with EFMA, uh, but also you see independent sources like Forrester and Gartner. Uh, it is quite a innovative uh, concept. Backbase is already doing this for the last six years. And it's very encouraging to see all the stuff we do as our core business is now getting more and more mainstream. Uh, so what we see is not only the industry analyst or the research, but also we see it in conversations with bankers that now have omnichannel as one of their top priorities. And I think the, the, the real goal is not omnichannel. The, the goal is the end customer and creating a seamless customer experience and a seamless customer journey for their end customers. How do you foresee uh, a future for commercial banking? Well, commercial banking is one of those areas that is extremely siloed, unfortunately. You've got cash management, you've got treasury systems, you've got payment engines, you've got a wide variety. Uh, business, uh, corporate customers, small business customers have to log in to multiple separate applications. So from an, uh, an end customer point of view, it's horrible and it's very fragmented. No consistent user interface, but mostly a very broken experience. If you go to the payment engine, I cannot see my loans. It's, it's just, and it's all driven by the bank and the way how the bank is organized. And the bank is not organized customer centric, the bank is organized product centric. So b literally the customer experience is dictated by the product organization and by the backend system. I think moving forward, that's unacceptable. Mm -hmm. So your platform does generalize all of it? Correct. Uh, so what you see is that our starting point is not with the backend systems. Our starting point is actually the opposite. It's like a paradigm shift. Uh, we, our paradigm shift is let's forget about these backend systems. Let's start with the customer. People refer to this as outside in. And outside in basically means this is the customer. If you would talk with them and you would ask them, what do you need? What do you expect? What is the job you need to finish? And you do a survey on that. You really, they will tell you what they need to do. And from that, you will start to look at, okay, how can we do this in a digital environment? And then how can we collect the right data and the right functionality from a wide variety of silos now suddenly need to be integrated into a seamless task flow for the end customer. So that's what we do. Outside in, a paradigm shift and a digital platform that can sit on top of your siloed core systems. And the Backbase Omnichannel platform will actually unify all the valuable data and, and functionalities you already have into something that is seamless towards the end customer. So these are, in your opinion, nowadays issues and challenges uh, and you providing solutions to that, to find out what customer needs to, in order to implement uh, something they, they like. Yeah, Backbase predominantly is a technology platform. So the bank, we actually empower the financial service institution in business banking and corporate banking to really analyze the needs of their customers. They don't need us for that. There's, there's plenty of great companies out there that do user experience design, uh, they do uh, customer surveys, and based on those insights, you can really kind of create these seamless customer journeys. Of course, we've done that homework ourselves. So we created a, a model bank, both for SME banking as well as for corporate banking, incorporating a lot of these findings. So we have accelerators that basically can give banks uh, a Kickstarter to go to mark quickly with the basics, with a unified customer experience and from there they can take the real and actually drive the additional innovation and the additional customization on their own. Jauk, I wanted to ask you about the omnichannel banking, the uh, booklet, right. which actually, um, how long did it take you to do and how uh, the idea to do such a thing actually came up? The actual uh, research, uh, we did it last year, it's almost a year ago now and we're going to do a, a second version uh, later this year, in uh, October, November. The actual research was a, quite uh, an in-depth process. 
process where it's around 200 banks uh, interview process so the overall uh, survey and getting the results was around a two-month process but the key thing is that we had a hunch we're doing this for the last six eight years uh, but it's important not only for us to have the idea it's really important to see with the actual bankers and their understanding of their end customers how much of a priority this is and if you look at one of the key insights over 90% of the respondents say creating a seamless customer experience across channels is a top priority. 90%. So it's a global research. It's a global research with banks uh, and it gives those insights. Now the next question is you can find it important, but how do you actually do it? Yeah, how Doing do the do research it? is easy, right? <laughs> Coming yeah. up with the conclusion is also easy, but actually executing it. That's uh, I think how the name of the game. Well, I think that's, for most banks, the critical part is, um, I think the fundamental part is technology is just one aspect and we can provide technology and insights and know-how. But the key thing is for the bank actually is to have a top-down willingness to change. And if you want to uh, operate in the digital world, uh, there's a few things. Business and IT really need to collaborate, like a fintech, yeah. like Silicon Valley. So I would, the first thing I would advise banking uh, executives, do a trip to Silicon Valley analyze how companies like Uber, Google, Netflix, how they organize themselves to do digital transformation and how to build digital only business models. It's not just buying technology. Uh, a, a world where in the bank the business folks are in one tower and the IT people are in a different tower and occasionally they have a conference call to discuss progress. I think that that model is very debatable. It's, it's, it's scary. It probably won't suffice. It's really about business and IT to come out of their silos collaborate in an agile process, use agile technologies like Backbase to make a real change. Otherwise, if, you don't, if you're not committed to that real change, and the good thing is we, we're meeting and we are working now with over 70 banks around the world where you see top-down commitments to make a digital change. And it's, it's in different maturity levels, but there's the commitment and there's also the, not only to do it, but also to learn and to make it better. What part of the world is more eager to implement that? Um, it varies, but uh, emerging markets, interestingly enough, uh, there's a big appetite. Uh, there's also a possibility that they will leapfrog uh, some of the Western, and especially the North American uh, uh, players. How easy is a bank-based platform actually to customize, to implement uh, in um, different financial institutions? Is it easy to basically uh, put bank-based platform from zero or to actually implement some parts of it into yeah. the internal market? Yeah. I'm very biased as you know, uh, but okay. the, uh, the, the good thing and it's a neutral observation, uh, the bank-based platform is, and it literally it's a platform, yeah. and the platform word means that it is created in such a way that you can create stuff within the platform to really fit a specific use case. Okay. So it's not like a hard-coded end-to-end capability from scratch, like many monolithic applications from the past, it's a development platform. That's the foundation. The good news is that if you have a, a platform, you can do anything, so the flexibility is unlimited. Yeah. The downside of a platform is that you need to do a lot of work. So we try to compensate for that. We give you the flexibility of the platform, and on top of that, in the last three years, we created accelerators. Accelerators for retail banking, like a, a digital neo bank in the box, on top of the platform. So it's actually preloading the platform with the right building blocks to launch a new digital solution within six months. We've done it for business banking, for corporate banking, for retail banking, and for wealth management. So that means now the foundation is there, the platform is there, the flexibility is there, the accelerators is there, and there from this point today, we actually innovate together with banks uh, to see how we can actually grow the platform and how we can grow the accelerators and how we can help them actually to complete uh, the last mile. Would you say that this one, um, uh, in, uh, going forward in this uh, particular uh, field, is it one of the trends and advances? What are, what are the challenges to actually overcome all these um, um, uh, issues you've just mentioned in order yeah. to, to do that? Yeah. The number one challenge we see is the operational model in the bank. Uh, I think banks are very siloed and also there's a desire now to innovate and to become more agile. But for banks to adopt an agile operation model, I think that's probably the number one challenge in this industry. Also for the bank to actually be able to capture digital talent and to retain digital talent and to mix it with their core systems, their domain expertise, their brand. The operating model is very different. The operating model is more like a fintech again. It's more like Silicon Valley. I think the only industry in this world is Silicon Valley that really knows, has the formula 
on how to kind of blend different disciplines and allow them to work effectively together. Uh, to move away from waterfall, to move away from go live and big band projects with 18 months uh, release cycles, but to go back into a model where you can uh, produce value together in, in, in two or three weeks, or where you can actually introduce new capabilities on a monthly basis based on customer input. That's a different mindset. It's the mindset of let's create, let's start small instead of big. Yeah. Let's start with a minimum viable product. That also let's start with the customer need and let that drive the prioritization and innovate from there. That is also a mindset, it has to be stable and solid, but it doesn't have to be perfect. We can, we can harden it over time. Those are fundamental different mindsets and changes that we see banks trying to move in that direction. And the encouraging part, most banking executives I meet, they are getting aware. They are, some of them are fully aware and they are uh, in this journey a long way. Others are at the entry of the journey and they think, okay, who's going to help us? Is it uh, the strategy consultant? Is it the digital agencies? Is it the system integrators, companies like Backbase? How can we assemble the right talent and the right know-how to embark on such a journey? You've mentioned Silicon Valley so many times, so is Backbase actually going step by step with Silicon Valley's development? So? Yeah, Silicon Valley is one of the industries and it's one of the places, and it's not tight, it's, I think Silicon Valley is more just um, a label yeah. which we globally recognize as the focal point of disruptive technologies and disruptor. Look at Google, they own the category of search, yeah. or Airbnb, they disrupt the whole concept of how you can go to a place and you can find a, a place for the night. Yeah. There are th these, these businesses, I think they lead the way to take technology at the core of their business model yeah. and to transform industries. So they, they've done it. I think they have a successful track record in doing it. So I, th I think it's a very normal thought process to kind of say, hey, how did they do it? Yeah. What's their formula? And it's not just technology, it's strategy, it's business, it's the organizational model, it's a, an engineering culture, it's all these different things together that makes them successful. They are certainly not just geeky, right? They do more. 